All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's great to have you back. I'm John, and I'm back here again with the uh, helmet thing. So this is where we left off. Basically, what we got going on here. Both of the halves are partially welded together. So I've got to close up that little piece down there. Uh, weld up at the top a little bit in the back. And then cut it to shape and everything. And we're be good to go to move on to the rest of the helmet. I've marked out where the sides of the helmet should be, or where the cutouts should be. And so I'm just going to cut those off now, and then see how they fit on the mannequin head. Alright, so that's what I've got now. So let's see how it fits on the mannequin head. Yep. So I'm at a point now where I can uh, start adding out some of the extra pieces, like that little flare in the back. Uh, and then that'll kind of complete the skull of the whole thing. And then from there I can add the brow reinforcement and the bever, and then the visor probably will be last. So, yeah. And it's, it's a nice tropical 30-something degrees out here right now, so I can use my fingers without them freezing off. I cut the back part out into two pieces, so I welded it together and I'm just grinding off the weld. Now we're ready to bend it. It's only going to be approximate because I'm going to weld it and then keep going and keep kind of bending it as I go. I've got the back little portion welded on now. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just kind of flare it out a little bit more. There we go, so now I'm pretty satisfied with the way that looks. Now let's trim it up. Now we have an exceptionally deep cell that <laughs> see how it fits on the mannequin. I am uh, I'm very happy with the way that's looking. Plenty of room for padding and suspension in there. Now I'm going to polish off all these welds and everything. Then I'll move on to uh, the bever and everything. That way they won't get in the way. Amidst all this cardboard, I have finally developed a pattern for the bever. Now this is just half of it, so that way I can just kind of fold it over, or that goes on, something like that. And then I can shape it more from there. I've got the two halves uh, cut up and it's shaped a little bit. They're welded together right now, it's very narrow at the moment, but I'm going to fix that in just a little bit. Uh, so right now I'm just shaping them so that I can weld all the way down, and then eventually it'll fit on Sort of like that, but, you know, better. So, it's starting to take some more shape. I've got part of the bever on. Well, I've got the bever on. Uh, now I've just got to do a little bit of shaping on it because it's a little, eh, it's a little unshapely right now, it's all. But you can kind of see how it's starting to, uh, starting to look right. So that's pretty cool. Well, I've still got it clamped in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over this ball stake here. And I'm just going to kind of push in this side a little bit. Basically what I'm trying to 
trying to do here is if you look at it from the top, it's a little round. And frankly, my face right about there, it's not quite that round. And so what I want to do is I want to push that in a little bit so it's a little bit flatter, a little bit more angular and all that. So, I'm having some trouble doing that just right now as it is, so I've got to apply some heat. So you look on the original, it's got a nice chin that kind of, you know, cups the chin, really. Uh, this one is a little bit tight for my taste. I've got, you know, I've got a chin, I'm not like a, a Sid from Ice Age, but... So right now, I'm using the ball peen, or the peen, th this part of the ball peen hammer, and the inside of here, in order to pronounce that chin a little bit. It's going to push these two sides in a little bit, but hopefully, I should just be able to kind of squeeze them back out uh, and if nothing else it'll have a nice tight fit on the helmet so yeah. Lovely, just what I was looking for So this is why uh, armets and closed helms have these like little, these pivoting things is because you want a closer fit to your head but you notice that your head is a lot smaller around here than it is up here and so likewise I can't fit it on my head like that. However, I open it up like that, plop it on, close it like that and I'm golden. So, right then, well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure to have you here tonight. So tomorrow, I'll be working on the visor part, and then, I assume, polishing it, and then I'll be putting the liner in, and then, it'll be done. <laughs> so, great to have you all here again. I hope to see you in the next one. Yeah!